Hello and welcome to my book haul. This book haul is for March, April and May. And yeah, let's just get started with the books. The first book I got in that period was The Hanging Tree by Ben Aronovich. This is the sixth book in the Peter Grant series. And it is basically about a police officer, Peter Grant, who finds out that magic actually exists. And he is kind of taken under the wing of the Nightingale who teaches him magic and yeah, it's a really cool series. I am actually not entirely sure that I'm going to continue on with it because I just, in some ways I feel like we're not really getting anywhere but at the same time it is really interesting so yeah, we'll see about that. The next book I got was the third book in the Nightmare series and this is called The Lost Lullaby. It's written by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller and this is great. This is a children's book and I just love it. The series is about Charlie Laird who moves into the purple mansion with his dad, younger brother and his new stepmother and because of nightmares and how terribly frightened he is, he opens a portal to another world which is the nightmare world and just things happen from there and it's really great and really fun to read. Then I got Blackheath Resurrection by Gabriella Lepore. This is the second book in the Blackheath duology and I haven't read the first book or the second book but I just thought I'd get it so now I have the duology for whenever I feel like picking them up. Then I got a book that I've already talked about in my wrap ups. It is Top 100 by the Priest and the Shrink, um, and this is, if you watch the wrap up where I talk about this, this is basically um, 100 Facebook posts um, to encourage you throughout the day and this was actually really great and I really loved it. My mom got this for me, so yeah, really nice of her. Then I got The Crystal Heart by Josefina Odesson. Um, which is the story of Mira. This is three books. It's the trilogy just in one and it was my older sister and her husband that just didn't want it anymore so I got it because one of my classmates at uni was like she loved this story and I was like okay I'm gonna get it maybe get to it. I'm not sure it's mainly because she just said it was that great so I thought like okay at some point I'm gonna have to give this a shot. Then I went to a gallery with my boyfriend's parents and at that gallery we met one of the artists called Gerd Grobe and he kind of writes these little pamphlets and we got two for free and this is the meeting with the son of man and this is uh, the torch carrier or torch car a torch carrier yeah and I read both of these and really enjoyed them they're quite quick to get through as you can see they're just like little pamphlets so yeah then I got a book that I've been waiting for for a long time and it is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by, you guessed it, Cassandra Clare and also Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson and Robin Wasserman. I don't know if I butchered that last name but yeah I have been looking forward to reading these short stories for a long time and unfortunately it is exam period right now so I don't have a lot of time to read what I want to read but hopefully I'll get to this soon because it's the shadow hunter world what's not to love and also a lot of shadows is coming out in I think on the 23rd of May I don't think I'm gonna get it until June just because Amazon is not very great at delivering on time when you pre-order things and especially not if you live outside of the UK so yeah I I'm getting that, but that'll probably be in the next haul instead. So yeah, Tales from the Shadow Under Academy. I'm excited. Then I also got something else. I got The Vampire Diaries Volume 1 by DC Comics. And this is 39 short stories or chapters about stories that, about The Vampire Diaries that you haven't heard yet. And it's fully illustrated, so it's like kind of a graphic novel, comic series thing and it's amazing and I love the artwork I love the fact that it's not just one type all the way through there are like multiple types of drawings and stuff like that and I really enjoyed that so if you're a fan of the Vampire Diaries I would definitely recommend you get this because it's just it's kind of cool to have 
And then I got two books that I'm beyond excited for, where the first one is J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Movie Magic, and then J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Movie Magic 2, and the first one is Extraordinary People and Fascinating Places, and the second one is Curious Creatures, and these are great. They are all sorts of fun stuff inside. I haven't read them yet, but like, I think it's in the first one. Yeah, in the back there are two masks that you can take out and play with, and it's just, there's this clock that you can use and play with and it's just they seem great and I can't wait for when I have some time and just get into these books and devour them because it's gonna be great. So those were the books that I got over these past three months. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.